Hey guys, welcome back to the Inter Milan career mode, FIFA 20 career mode, episode 2, a second half of season 1. We're going to finish off season 1 in this episode. If you guys are new to the channel, uh, don't don't fast forward in this video because you're guaranteed to miss a goal. I mean, this episode is just full of goals, uh, besides this game, obviously, because it ends nil-nil. I promise you that's the only game that's going to end nil-nil. At least I think so. Uh, it's going to be goals galore. We're finishing off season one. We're not off to the hottest start, honestly. Uh, we've not been winning a lot of games. We've been lose, dropping a lot of points uh, to some good teams and to some bad teams. Uh, but anyway, if you guys are enjoying this series, uh, don't forget to comment below uh, what you like most about the series or who I should sign next year. And then uh, don't forget, of course, to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, but anyway, uh, Lukaku's going through on goal here. We're going to score first against Atalanta. Atalanta is a really good team in this game. Underrated in terms of player overall. But they're really good. They dominated Valencia in real life in the Champions League as well. Actually, really good team. Um, they get in on me here. I can't clear the ball. Look at this. I'm trying to clear it through. Sticks right on that guy's foot. And he scores. I don't know. I forgot who that was who scored it. But anyway, 1-1. One, one, 77th minute. Oh, my God. He just dribbled by everyone and scored Zapata. 2-1 uh, down in the 77th minutes. Not looking good. Only a couple minutes later, though, Christian Eriksen. He's going to send in a nice pass to Dalbert. going to send it into Lukaku. who's just going to overpower the defender. Gets a goal. Ties it at two. At least we got a point out of this game. Uh, probably all it's going to amount to is a point. We got this last chance corner here in the 89th minute. It falls right to Lukaku's head. He bounces that one in the corner. Probably one of the best corners I've scored. Just a perfect pass and a perfect header down into the bottom corner. I mean, it was a really nice goal. Really, really good goal. Probably the best goal I've ever scored from a corner. I like that a lot. We end up winning this game somehow. 3-2 thanks to Lukaku. Gets himself a hat trick. Lukaku's been our best striker on the team so far. It was Laturo Martinez. Uh, early on, he was the best, but then Lukaku's really taken over. And you'll see in this episode, too, it's just all Lukaku. Big game against um, the Milan Derby and the, the Italian Cup Copa Nacional. And there's one man we couldn't stop this game. And his name was... I don't know what his name was. Was it Zlatan? I thought that was Zlatan. Anyway, a nice pass here. Suso, we try to clear. It goes right back to him. This is Zlatan. Beautiful. I mean... To be fair, it was a rocket shot. But my goodness, Latan, even at his age, overpowered in this game. Hits absolute rockets. Can't stop him. No one can defend him. We lose 2-0. Eliminated in the Italian Cup by our rivals, AC Milan. Heartbreaking. Oh, that, that's Gabbiadini, by the way. You know, I mentioned I, signed, I had to sign him as an emergency because Laturo Martinez went down. And Gabriel Barbosa went down. Lukaku was my only fit striker at the time. And then the 68 rated um, uh, Espe Mateo Esposito. But he he's pretty good, Esposito. But oh, 68 rated. I need someone. I signed Gabby Dini for cheap. Uh, he's not too good. But beautiful header goal by Lukaku. Get off the corner. I don't know what's going on. I never score corners um, in FIFA 20. But apparently all you have to do is put Lukaku on your team. And you will score corners. In this game, another beautiful goal. Jump off to an early lead against Lazio. Nice passing here is Christian Eriksen. Just going to have to send it down the wing to Federico Chiesa. Who's going to find Gabriel Barbosa off the post, but it goes right back to him. This is Barbosa's first game back uh, from injury. He was injured for a while. Got injured towards the end of last episode. Uh, but he's back. Larturo's coming back soon. I think he's, he's out for a couple more games, I believe. But he'll be back in this episode as well. It wasn't out for the whole season. Um... Yep, you guys are going to see a lot of goals from this game against Juventus. It's just none of them are going to be from me. Uh, a lot of them are going to be from Ronaldo. Look, check this goal out. Uh, somehow, my goalie takes out my own defender, and everyone piles through, and then Ronaldo just comes and cleans it up with a beautiful sidekick goal. I mean, that was ridiculous. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, there's Ronaldo again. That's two for Ronaldo. Ronaldo's going to end up getting his hat trick. Uh, not right here. That's just a beautiful shot. I think that's uh, Iago um, from the Spanish national team. Who is that? Oh, it's Sammy Kadira. Jesus. Uh, what a rocket that was. It ended up 5-0. Ronaldo got his hat trick. We don't need to show. I mean, this video would be full of Juventus highlights if, if we showed all the goals they scored against me. I mean, they're too good in this game. Overpowered. 
knockout stage round of 16 against Byron we're actually up to one um, if you're new to this career to the career mode we sim the first leg play the second leg of any Champions League and we always only play one, one we play one game in the group we, we play three games in the group stage one against each team and we sim another one and we actually won the simulation at home up to one they're gonna strike first though Rob Lewandowski he's gonna score he's gonna tie the aggregate right now uh, they're going through on away goals then they get another one to go up 3-2 on the aggregate but it's all right all we need is one goal to tie the aggregate send it to extra time I was pretty confident we were gonna do that 90th minute Ball gets played around a lot. Look at the Arturo Martinez. I should have sweated across right there. Lukaku was open. I just didn't know. I didn't want to end this game on a bad pass. I wanted to at least get a shot off. I guess that was my mindset because I wasn't sure if that was going to go through. In hindsight, looking at the replay, I should have just sweated it across to Lukaku. It would have been an easy tap in because I didn't even get a shot off anyway. So it was a failure. Speaking of Arturo Martinez, though, he's back. He gets a beautiful goal there. Playing Hellas Verona this game. We needed to win this one against a shitty team. We need to get all three points. But they send in a nice goal there. My defense is Swiss cheese. I'm playing three in the back. Uh, I don't really like playing three in the back. But I have a lot of good attacking players. And I want to get them involved. So three in the back it is. Another beautiful goal there. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Keeps scoring ridiculous hole. That was a nice goal too. Beautiful shots. Laturo going to get to second. Tied at two. 84th minute we got another point we salvage a point there's no way we're gonna pull another miracle off and get all three Lukaku he's I thought he got taken down but no uh, they didn't call it there so whatever that's how that game ended next game up against Romas would be big if we can get a point here Luke who is that coming in just muscles off my defense and gets a goal there I mean man I'm really disappointed in my defense Christian Eriksen He's going to go through. He's going to go through. He's got really nothing. He's going to Burba spin through another. Oh, beautiful goal. Burba spins through one. Gets the shot off before the goalie and the defender can close up on him. Squeezes it through. 1-1. One, one. That's a draw. That's how this one ended. On to the next one. Still dropping points. This is not very good. We're hanging on the Champions League by a threat. I think we're not even in fourth at this point. Uh, but Lukaku muscles through, gets a goal. It's an early goal against Fiorentina. You gotta love early goals. Kind of just makes you relax a little bit. When I, I hate giving up the goal first because I'm like, oh my goodness. Now I need a fight just to get one goal and then another. And then look at that from Nicolo Barella. He bounced it off his foot and then hit it off the volley. That was a nice goal right there. I should have saved that replay. I skipped it, but whatever. That was a nice goal. Uh, and then that was it. They didn't get any any other chances this game. Neither did we. But it's all right. We ended up winning this game 2-0. A big win. We really can't afford to drop any points at this point. Uh, next up, we got Genoa. Again, another team we need to win. We should be dominating at this point, too. I mean, we haven't been dominating all season. Here's Lukaku, though, coming in on his left. That's a goal right there. 42nd minute. Took us almost a whole half to break him down, but we eventually got to him. 1-0. Defense just needs a hold. 57 minute. More goals would be nice. Christian Eriksen's wide open. He's got plenty of time. Finesse is that one in the right corner. 2-0. This one should be a wrap by now. We usually don't give up two goals in this amount of time. So 2-0. We're not done yet. 80th minute. It's Arturo Martinez cutting in. Bam, near post. That's his like signature shot. Another reason in that Bayern game, I wanted to just go in and take the shot. Because if I knew if I got it off, I thought I would have a good chance of scoring. Gabriel Barbosa gets it by one. Beautiful cross in. That's Arturo Martinez again. Beautiful 4-0. That was in stoppage time. So that's going to end that one. A big 4-0 win. Finally showing a little bit of dominance. Finally showing our offense. Why I'm playing three in the back. Because our offense is so explosive. And we finally shown it there. Lukaku, Arturo Martinez. We need, uh, I think the main guy I want to buy in the summer is a left winger. Because, like Sanchez, first of all, he's on loan. Second of all, I hate him. I think he's a piece of shit. Um, football player is just horrible. Uh, at least in this game, it's terrible down that wing. Here, here's Lukaku. Didn't know what to do. I thought I was going to chip. Went for the shot. Rebound. Christian Eriksen was right there. Take a 1-0 lead on Napoli early on. Christian Eriksen gobbling up those rebounds. Love him in the camp position. Here comes Insigne. He's going to send in a ball beautifully. 
Peter Zelinski's going to score that one. Levakovic dove and somehow got a hand on it. That would have been probably the best save in my whole FIFA, playing FIFA in my whole life. That would have been one of the best saves, but couldn't pull it off. It was a pretty much guaranteed goal anyway. Lukaku shot, rebounded again right to Christian Eriksen, the same type of goal. Uh, twice to put us up 2-1. That's how this one's going to end. Get a big win. Finally, a big win against the big team. And Napoli players are going to be so upset. I'm not sure why. Because this didn't impact them at all. They still finished in second place. Uh, not even close to Juventus. Um, but, I mean, Napoli had a good season. They finished second. I don't know why they're so upset by loss. That didn't really mean it, anything to them. Well, who knows? I guess they don't like losing. That's a good sign of a football team. Like Napoli, by the way, I was thinking of doing a career mode with them. Maybe my next career mode, maybe a little later on. I don't know. Let me know if, what you guys think about that. If you're still watching the video at this point, that is. Um, last game of the season, Atalanta. And we needed to win this game. We're in fifth place right now. We needed to win, and we needed some help to get top four. And that is not help. Did you see that fucking piss missile of a shot? That was an absolute rocket in the top corner. No goalie in the world is saving that. I don't care who you are. This guy's going to kill us again. It's 2-0 already. 34 minutes in. This isn't looking good for a must-win game. Not only do we need to win, we need help. And we, we can't even help ourselves. That's a beautiful pass to Arturo Martinez. Beautiful goal right before the half. And that was big. Only down by one going into halftime. Need to somehow muscle. Find a way. Must allow two goals. 80th minute, we're running out of time. It's not happening. The the moves, the passing, the rebound, it's over. It's 3-1, 81st minute. There isn't no coming back from that. That's how this one was going to end. We lose 3-1. Very disappointing season. Very disappointing season, but this career mode is not just going to be two episodes long. We, we, we finish in fifth, come out. We're going to be in the Europa League next year. So it's very disappointing, but we're not going to quit there. We're going to bounce back from this. We're going to sign some guys in the summer. We're going to at least get top four. I want to compete for the league. We're going to win the Europa League. We're going to win the Copa Nacional. We're going to be back on track. You can bet on it. You don't want to miss the next episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe. See you guys.